I have here a 5 ampere AM18 red light in my own Milwaukee battery showing one flashing red light there's one power tool and if you put it into the charger it's showing the green light as if it's fully charged there's four screws in the bottom of this I've taken the liberty of already removing them with my Torx 10 screwdriver if I gently ease the top off like that I can now test what voltage this battery is putting out with the meter on you can see it's kicking out about 15 volts that would make me think there's about two bad cells in that battery so the next thing I have to do is take the battery out of the casing then test the cells individually careful not to damage any of the cells doing this because it can be quite dangerous puncture cells or cross connections that aren't supposed to be connected with that out of the casing now we get our little meter back in action again and test the cells individually showing over three there over three there that's quite good I think it's over three you can consider it very good. Hold on. Nothing's bad. Nothing's bad. They're showing not point not eight. Don't know if you can see that. Not point not eight. That's over three, that's good. That's over three. Four. Very good. Four. Four. And last but not least, four. So it's these two cells here, this one and this one, are, that are faulty. These two. So, yeah. Point not eight of a volt, so that's virtually nothing there. Now, what I want to do now. And this is dangerous too. Pop these cells out. So we can replace some of the new ones. That's going surprisingly well, so that's good. Disconnect that. Get that well back out of the way. So we can maybe slide them out. One way or the other. Come on. And do the other side now. The other slide's more, slightly more precarious because you can cross the cell with itself effectively. I think it then broke off some way. I'll be happy. You want to be careful when you're doing this not to cross connections or cross the cell with itself because you can damage this ring and then you're connecting positive to negative and it's not good you're crossing the polarity or whatever I don't know what the terminology would be but you don't want to be doing that is the point I'm trying to make right let's see if we can get this pushed out now hmm. I have to try and get these cells pushed out I've tried to push those cells out but they seem to be really in there really tight so I think I'm going to have to get a hacksaw and cut these, cut the plastic and take them out this way. So that's going to take a moment. Right, uh, thrust the hacksaw to the rescue, I hope. Right, that was immense. The thing I learned in the last few moments, I don't know what you're going to learn from this video. I learned that M18 batteries are both like absolute tanks. And I took a risk cutting that plastic because if you puncture that cell, it's deadly. But I think I might be able to get the cells out now, which is what I wanted. Cell one, I know. Cell two should come.
there we are. Now I have to put in the new cells. Right, here I have two cells. These are reclaimed from another donor battery. I recommend you buy new, two new cells usually, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm going to test these cells for I put them on. So that is showing 4.2 odd, so that's very good. And this one is showing 4.2 odd. Very, very good. So they're two very good cells. They're in very good condition. So nothing remains to do. Let's stick them on here. Right, here we go now. Oh, that's skin on that battery. Ah, that's okay. That's in position now. You want to make sure you put these on the right way around. I would recommend that. Look at the little rubber thing to put on. That's very nice. We'll use that little rubber thing that Milwaukee have provided us with. Who might argue with the big multinational company in Milwaukee of what is the right thing to do? There we are. Our two cells are sitting in position now. So, what I want to do is spot weld them on, and we should have a, a battery that's very, very good, functional. And I'm going to risk taking off the gloves because it gives me a wee bit of more dexterity to work at this. Right, I've spot welded that all together now. I use spot weld because I see other people using solder and I'm afraid of getting too much heat into the cells. But that should be good now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test the voltage. To see what that's done to that i'll put away the spot welder first right i'm very pleased with that 19.18 volts that's pretty good that'd be good enough to power any tool next step is to throw this back into the box see if i got it right here at the moment of truth put the battery in the charger see what happens i'm still getting the old uh, Disco effect, which confuses me greatly. I'm getting two bars now. That's weird. And now I'm getting a fully charged symbol. So May have to do a wee bit more to this to see. Right. Try it as a tool now. No, nope. it's not going. There must be something wrong with the circuit board as well. So that's a no no for that one. Right, that fix sadly has been totally unsuccessful. It'll neither charge nor per uh, a drum like shown a moment ago but i've been able to bring the voltage up to workable voltage the only thing i can think to do with this is possibly get a circuit board and try replacing the circuit board on it other than that my options